Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. I'm Fofo. And I'm Bones. And before we start this super duper long overdue podcast, we would like to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Woolworths. Woolworths. So Woolworths is the number one supermarket brand in Australia. Yes, but now it is in the Philippines. Woolworths is Australia's number one supermarket brand and it's now available in the Philippines at Shopwise. You can also shop for Woolworths products using the GoCart app available both in iOS and Google Play. And through the website shopwise.gocart.ph and they will deliver straight to your doorstep. The podcast topic for this episode is simple pleasures because we want to start slow. We don't want to like dive right into the podcasting hole and make Bonizi cry and make me cry. Oh, so you're crying now. I don't know. Are you ever going to make me cry? I made you cry during our two weddings. <laughs> okay, that's, so good, that's enough. good enough. That's good enough. Si Bones. But oh. anyway, <laughs> the podcast is back. Yay! It really is. And we're hoping to to na to. Dapat to to na to. Dapat to to na to. Where is no option? Naging busy, Fofo. Naging busy tayo actually dun sa mga simple pleasures natin. And that's a true story. That is a true story. And I guess, why is this topic relevant? nowadays the pandemic it seems mm-hmm. like we're slowly moving out of the pandemic Sana tuloy tuloy yeah. na. so why is this such an important topic i think there's a lot of heavy stuff going around so we try to look for little things in our lives that make us happy or mm-hmm. little things that spark joy in our life so yun yung mga bagay na hinahanap natin yeah and i guess over the course of the past two and a half years for everybody we've had to look for those little moments of joy in the most mundane things because mm-hmm. we've been stuck at home, we've been stuck in a different environment. Maybe we weren't able to see our friends. Yeah. So, parang we had to recalibrate where we would find this happiness, and we had to be okay with it. And if you weren't able to do that, you'd probably end up really sad, yeah. really emotional. So, I think safe to say that it was very, very important for all of us to find those little pockets of happiness in mm-hmm. our lives where we otherwise would not go to. Okay, good. So. Now that we're on this topic, what is your definition of a simple pleasure or something, little things that make you happy? It's in the simple the na- definition, lang yun. I mean, something that's easily accessible, something that you would otherwise maybe take for granted on okay. a normal basis. Yeah. Pero yun pala, if you actually give it a bit of time and just savor that moment, kahit sobrang sandali lang siya. We'll get into the specifics later on. Parang you realize, you know what? This moment or this thing makes me super happy. I just never took the time to notice it. And on that note, the ba, diretso na tayo dun sa simple okay. pleasures natin. I share na natin ang unang unang pinakamalaking simple pleasure namin that we most recently found huh? is that we realized that it is super fun to color your dog. So we colored Soba with a marker and made her pure black. Ah! <laughs> Hello! Obviously, we are just joking. We would never ever do that to a dog. Oh, Please don't do that. Please that don't was do that to your pets. A joke. Please. And Bonizi, would you like to introduce? Introducing the newest member of the Daes family, Chia! Wea Daes! Chia Wea, is that Chia, like a thing Wea. now? Like Sova Daba and Chia Wea. Oh, you're Chia Wea. She Aww. loves sleeping on her back, but. Putting her aside, she is one of our simple happinesses, simple happinesses, simple pleasures, or the little things that make us happy. Yes, yeah, so Chia, just for everybody's information, she is around three and a half months old. She is the little half sister of Soba. They have the same mother, but a different father, and she's super duper cute. All black except for one very, very small mole under her lip. Mm-hmm. It's a white mole, and her and Soba, how have they been getting along? They have been getting along. And fun fact, if Soba's birthday is the same day as Lauren's birthday, Chia was born a day before my birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. 26? 26 siya. Oh, okay. So there you have it. And I think we'll have another episode reserved just for Chia. Mm-hmm. But I guess in relation to having simple pleasures, can you tell me more about how Chia relates to our simple pleasures here at home? I love seeing Soba with a friend. Because Soba yeah. has just been alone, or like she's with Salem, but Salem doesn't really play back with her. So it's nice to see Soba engaging with another dog. So that in itself makes me really happy, just seeing them play together. 
Mm-hmm. And it's really nice. I think the moments that Bonizi is discussing, those are what I mean by simple pleasures. Mm-hmm. Just watching your two dogs playing. I mean, ha- sobrang happy ka na nga kay Soba. Yeah. But to see that Soba is even happier now that may kasama na siya and may playmate na siya, that moment, that snapshot is something that you hold on to. And you didn't pay for that moment. Yeah. You didn't do anything to generate that moment. It was a spontaneous moment that happens because we have Chia in our lives now. And I think that's one of the definitions of a simple pleasure. I'm just like moving her around because she's so tiny. Her bones are so soft. Pa. So she's like a really nice pillow to hug. That's what she feels like. Yeah. And for me, when Soba came into our lives, it was a breath of fresh air mm-hmm. unexpectedly. We had no idea that, that was the effect that Soba was going to give us. And to be honest, we were also hesitant to get Chia because we didn't know how it was going to affect our dynamic. Were we ready to have two dogs? <gasps> Was Soba ready to have another dog in competition with her here in this household? So, so many uncertainties, but when Chia came in and we started taking care of her, we had to wake up early in the morning to clean her up because mm-hmm. she's not super potty trained yet. Yeah. She's still getting to know the house. Yes, it's tiring, but on the flip side, these are memories that you hold on to. These are memories that you talk yeah. about like 10 years later on when she is so much bigger and saw so much bigger. Para sa akin, those are my simple pleasures in relation to Chia. In relation also to what you just said, Chia wakes us up really early in the morning. And at first, I thought, hassle is this? So I have to wake up early and then she's crying and then I gotta take care of her. But once I'm up and I'm taking care of her in the morning, letting her do her thing, getting some playtime in the morning, it's also another simple pleasure for me that I'm able to wake up early, I'm able to start my day early and just, you know, do things more productively because yeah. of Chia. And we have to be more productive because we'll probably have another podcast episode detailing what we have been doing for the first half of 2022. Mm. Bonizi, right clicking and saving all the time, my gosh. So Chia aside, you can put the dog Go down. aside. <laughs> you, what other simple pleasures have we had and that we can share with the audience? Well, a newest thing for me in 2022 is BTS, woo! I have been watching BTS videos every day and that is my simple pleasure. I don't need to, you know, spend on anything, wink wink merch, but just what? <laughs> wait, a wait, wait, that's why I said wink wink merch. It was a joke, okay? So just watching the videos. <laughs> some merch. Watching the videos is what we're focusing on right now, and I don't have to spend anything to watch the videos. So the videos are my simple pleasures. Bones is an army degen. She loves BTS. She also loves their merch. Yes. Ako ay isang asawa ng ARMY. Proud naman ako dun. ARMY reserve ka. Taga uh-huh. support. Gusto ko yung asawa ng ARMY. Eh. Ah, ganun. Cute May bago ka ng grupo. I've been telling everybody. A-A. Like, A-A. For you're, work. You're people, A-A. Asawa they, ng ARMY. When people interview me, I always say, proud asawa ng ARMY. <laughs> Bias na si Jing. Jin! I'm kidding! <laughs> it always annoys me when I get the name wrong. Of course, I know all their names. Actually, no, I only know two names. Jin and Jungkook. Jungkook. I'm kidding, Jungkook. Ah, <laughs> Jin is my bias, but OT7 pa din. I'm a semi-blink. I like Jisoo. Why semi lang? Because you're not like, ano. Because I guess I like half of them. You can't like just half of them. You have to like all of them. No, I like their songs as a group, but on a personal note, if I were to pick, I like Jisoo and That's what and you call Jenny. that's what you call a bias. So parang they are the ones that you like. But you support the whole group pa din. I support the whole group, but oh. I like Jenny and Jisoo. Can't be a solo More. stand. Don't be a solo stand. Although Lisa Lisa's a hot dancer. Support everyone. Yeah, okay. So these are the conversations that we have had for the past <laughs> half year. And that's all we've been doing, I think. Oh. Support lang sa lahat. Go. You know, when I wake up in the morning while I'm having coffee, I'll watch like funny videos that I see or baka may bago silang update. And that in itself And makes she would me watch really it happy. for 10 hours straight. Oh, hindi naman 10 hours. Yeah, putol-putol. Siguro may mga 10 minute breaks. Hindi naman. Like, I admit, like I played Monster Hunter World for 10 hours straight. But I try to give myself breaks. Like when I'm having coffee, like 
when I'm getting ready, I watch BTS music videos. So I try to chop up my time when I'm watching the videos, but I'm also productive with my work. So my simple pleasure, I mean, you guys all know, and I think you've seen some of the videos where I'm building PCs. So I'm building PCs for Bones and myself. Um, but of course, you, you can only build so many PCs. We're two people here. I mean, of course, sometimes you can upgrade. Octopus okay. yarn. Okay, <laughs> gets. Maybe sometimes you can make second PC para sa streaming. Wow, oh, exactly. minsan, minsan, oh, diba? Para para, para lang may makalikot ako. But after you built all the PCs your hands can use, you got to move on to something else. Yeah. I have been trying to learn new skills. I mean, just things that interest me. I remember before when I was younger high school, my mom would always ask me, "Okay, what summer class would you like to mm -hmm. do now?" So parang of course, basketball, taekwondo. And then one time na napaisip ako and I said, "Maybe I want to start coding." And it just never happened because yeah. I guess my mom was never able to find something or maybe if she found one, it was just super duper expensive to take the class. So now because of YouTube, where it's free, <laughs> simple pleasures, then I, I've started watching different YouTube videos on how to code. Of course, I still don't know how to do it. But I'm just just watching. And on that same vein, because Bonizi is such a, an army girl at the moment, She's also been watching Korean. She... Ma K drama. No, the Korean tutorials. Oh yeah, we Hangul. Hangul. Uh. Ah. Anyo nga sayo. Oh. <laughs> ah, o e. Anyo nga sayo. Lele lo ko si Bones. That that's how I say it. But anyo nga sayo? Did we get that right? I hope I said We're that right. We're practicing our vowels. Anyo nga sayo? Ah. We're trying. Eh, eh. Yeah, and I'm joining yeah, yeah. her. I'm joining her because what? What? I do like the Korean novellas. Yes. They are so well made amazing so para sa akin i think that's a new shared simple pleasure that we have wouldn't it be so fun if we could understand korean and we didn't have to read the subtitles ito yung problema dyan ah so dati a few years ago sobrang hilig namin sa mga anime yeah gusto namin matuto ng japanese para hindi na namin kailangan mag subtitles obviously hindi nangyari yun so now is the era of uh, korean pop culture here in this household now we want to learn korean now, the difference is we've actually gone through a couple of episodes trying to learn mm -hmm. so i'm hoping that now magkaroon tayo ng mas malaking commitment to this kasi nakakatuwa naman talaga Wait for for naman yung Duolingo. Duolingo, yeah. Dalawang araw lang yung ginawa natin. Tapos I get emails every day like, do the app, do the app. Like, okay, so we'll try, we'll try. So the first half of 2022, like I said, has been very chill for us. So the back half is going to be extremely productive. And before we continue with the podcast and our Korean novella stories, we would like to remind everybody that this episode is sponsored by Woolworths. Now, Woolworths is a globally renowned brand. Like we said, it came from Australia but is now available mm -hmm. here in the Philippines and the brand is committed to healthier eating and innovation. Yes, and that means that the food is also better for you. Yes, there are no artificial flavors yep. and colors. Yep. There are reduced salts and sugars and fats. And actually, like, I have a bowl of nuts here, and the nuts here are from Woolworths. And it helps us because Bonizi and I have a renewed commitment to eating healthier. And we have a couple of products here from Woolworths, and it's helped mm -hmm. us snack on healthier items rather than going on junk food. Woolworths is Australia's number one supermarket brand, and it's now available in the Philippines at Shopwise. You can also shop for Woolworths products using the GoCart app available both in iOS and Google Play. And through the website shopwise.gocart.ph and they will deliver straight to your doorstep. And now we move on with the podcast. We have Sobadoba here with us and we were just talking about food mm -hmm. in the promo spiel. Okay. And that's taken up an important part of our 2022 because yes. I must say during a time in that pandemic we were extremely unfit. I think during the first half of the pandemic, we really tried to work out and eat well. And then when work started a role for us, we were yeah, like, there was just... a hu Yeah, there was just a huge adjustment and transition to working from home. Mm -hmm. That all our energy was focused on that. And we didn't realize our healthy lifestyle was being neglected. But now we're getting back into it. So food has played an important part in our lives. Yes. So Bonizi, what have we been eating? Ooh, we've been eating a lot of vegetables, that's for sure. Yeah, actually veggies have been my secret weapon because I get so hungry nowadays when I'm eating just your regular diet food. Mm -hmm. Before, I used to be able to eat kamote, chicken breast, and brown rice, and that was it. And he would be okay with that. Like, kahit one month straight, yeah. yun lang ang kinakain niya, okay lang sa kanya. Yeah, but I guess because my body's still adjusting, I get super duper hungry, mm -hmm. and I realized that if I ate like a mountain of veggies, that I wouldn't get hungry anymore. 
Uh, so when you mean that your body is adjusting, you mean your body's getting old? My body is getting very old along with Bonizi's already old body. Oy, grabe naman. <laughs> okay, so ako naman, yung, sim- lang to. yung simple pleasure ko pagdating sa pagkain, I always have snacks. And I'm What are your snacks? Like, I have like the mixed nuts. I'll have a cookie. I'll have some brownies maybe. But I don't eliminate sugar completely because I know that I need sugar. I know that sweets make me happy. But of course, I eat it in moderation. Yeah, and I guess on that point about sugar, we don't eat simple sugars anymore. So there's no junk food. Mm-hmm. And there's no super sweet food. Especially with us, we try to get into the starchier kind of carbs yeah. and the more complex carbs because that helps Keep your hunger at bay. Mm-hmm. What makes me happy is making breakfast in the morning. And one of my go-to breakfast meals has to be yogurt, granola, honey, and some fruit. So aside from Bonizi's breakfast meals, my go-to veggie dishes have been extremely simple. It's literally a bowl of broccoli or cauliflower mm-hmm. sautéed in olive oil bayon with a lot of chili. Yeah, but sometimes we just steam it. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're the ones who make it. I just eat it. <laughs> Sana but... pagluto mo rin ako, Popo. Sige, gagawin kita ng ano, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Love Yan it. yung specialty ko so far. I've been using alternative peanut butters, which have been very fun for me because I love peanut butter in all kinds. So I've tried cashew butter. Yeah. I've tried... Almond butter. Almond butter. I've tried almond butter with chia seeds. I put that... I slather that peanut butter on bread and then on the other side of the bread, you have jam. And I've tried different kinds of jam, guava jelly, strawberry Ooh. jam, Ooh. blueberry jam, and then paminsan minsan, if I need a burst of energy, if maybe I'm gonna work out within an hour, uh-huh. I'll put some bananas in it. Oof, that sounds really good. Okay, hindi naman ako magre-reklamo din sa lulutuin mo, Fofo. Happy na ako. Masarap din. Masarap. Masarap, super sarap. Mm-hmm. So aside from our meals, one thing that we've been very vocal about that makes us really happy is coffee. Obviously. Coffee is definitely a simple pleasure in our life. Just waking up in the morning, I will tap Fofo while he's still groggy and sleeping. And I'll be like, coffee? And he'll just be like, mm-hmm. And he'll just like, mm-hmm. And the reason why I'm like that is because we've been working out again. So it's been week number three or four yeah. of working out for us. And ang sakit ng katawan namin. I mean, everybody who has started to work out again, you know how we feel. <laughs> Sobrang hirap bumangon. And we've been sleeping early. Like, we would sleep at around 10 p.m. 9, 10 wake p.m. Up, yeah, say, wake yeah. up at around maybe like 5.30, 6 a.m. Because of Chia. Pero ang hirap talaga bumangon. Yeah. It's just so heavy. And I guess it's harder when you're older. Older is going to be a theme for our future episodes, wouldn't it be? Behind... Older relationship goals yeah, behind be. Tito. Tita we have goals. to up, we have to update our title, <laughs> but please do for everybody following this. You guys are also older because well, time is undefeated. Please put your "I'm getting older" stories in the comment section. We'd love to hear. It. <laughs> Speaking of getting older, one worry that we actually had because it's in relation to our simple pleasure. Mm-hmm. Like, what if in the future the doctor oh, yeah. tells us you can't have coffee anymore? That is my <laughs> biggest fear. So I don't have a lot of big fears. I don't have a lot of fears to be honest with you. I'm super like go with the flow, whatever, come yeah. with me. But there was one time we were having coffee in the morning and I think one of our family members had a checkup and the thought just crossed our minds. What happens if when we're older, pagbabawalan tayo magkape ng doktor natin? My solution si Bones. Ito yung solution niya. Fofo, maghahanap tayo ng ibang doktor. <laughs> She said that. You said that. Second opinion. Malay mo, pwede pa. <laughs> Tapos, in the third, fourth, fifth opinion, hanggat makarating tayo sa opinion na pwede tayo magkape. Malay mo. Coffee-flavored water. May ganun in the future. You never know. But obviously, as you can see, we love talking about our food. It's made us really happy and it's yeah. made us even happier that we've been more healthy about the food that we've been ingesting recently. And now that we're done with food, Bonizi already touched on it. When it comes to coffee, I think it's time to give our audience an update. What is the coffee status of Bones and Fofo at the moment? What are we drinking? What are we using? How are we brewing? Naging mas maarte ka ba sa kape? Are you a coffee snob now? I think that at times I can still be a coffee snob. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think that I'm more practical now. And when we need to have coffee on the go, when I want to have coffee like in an instant, that's the word. I have instant coffee. 
Wala ako naman, never ako naging maarte sa kape. Any kind of coffee I'm gonna drink. Yeah. Here at home, it's usually pour over. So that's what we have. We do have an espresso machine. But syempre, it's just nicer being able to brew your own cup. There's something therapeutic about grinding your beans, taking out the filter, heating mm -hmm. your water, and pouring it over, counting the minutes and the seconds and the yeah. ml. So that's always fun. But as Bonizi said, when we're out and about, we do have instant coffee from time to time, packed in our bags. Or Just or, because it's useful. Or if we have a meeting and then we realize, oh my gosh, we only have two minutes before this meeting starts, we whip out the instant coffee and I make like an iced coffee real quick and then we're ready for the meeting. Yeah, and FYI, Woolworths does have instant coffee, so you can try that out as well. And when it comes to maybe the milk-based coffees, like the cappuccinos, the espressos, mm -hmm. the cortados, that's where we go to our favorite coffee shop, yeah. whichever is nearby. So if we're up north, we go to a coffee shop we like there. If we're down south in Makati, we go to a certain coffee shop over there. So all good in the hood when it comes to our coffee. Mm -hmm. We've been buying a lot from different roasteries all over the world, trying to support, I mean, not just Filipino roasters, but... International just, then. Yeah, just small batch roasters in general. Although we have tried some from Cebu, we have tried some from Apinay in Dubai. Dubai. We've gotten a couple from Hong Kong and from the U.S. and we from Europe. We bought beans from a U.S.-based coffee shop when we visited San Francisco. Yes. And they had beans from the Philippines. Oh, yeah. And that was what they suggested. We were like, hey, what's a really good bean here? When they suggested what they felt was the best, it was actually from Mount Apple. Yeah. So that was a proud moment. And with that, Bonizi, we're heading towards the end of this episode. Are there any other simple pleasures you'd like to share? And the thing is, the reason why I feel it's also important to share this is because some people might try it out. You know, a lot of the things that we've found to be very enjoyable are things that maybe we saw on the internet, we saw on Instagram from a friend, mm -hmm. we try it out, and we're like, oh, nakakatawa pala to, nakakatawa pala gawin to. Us sharing it is also giving the audience ideas to try out. It's funny that you mentioned this because I was exploring TikTok yesterday and I was trying out all these different trends and there were some that I couldn't understand, there were some that I just didn't get on the first try, but it feels good. Parang simple pleasure in naren when you finally get that video that you've been trying out, that you've been practicing, that you get right on the first go. I think that's a simple pleasure in itself. And you know, a lot of people use the app to pass by the time. So I think it's like a really fun, simple pleasure out there. Mm, I have a simple pleasure bonus that okay. I think is relevant to a situation that most people face. I have actually cherished the moments that I've worked and seen people. You're right. I mean, eventually, we'll just have our own face in our office mates natin at sa mga kaibigan natin. We're like, no, I want to go back to my shell at home and just watch videos all day. But because of what's happened to us over the past two and a half years, seeing them is a breath of fresh air. Mm -mm. And sometimes we might not realize it or might not think about it. Mm -hmm. But if you're consciously aware of that, when you see them, it actually feels really, really, really good. I just realized now that you mentioned, because I haven't seen my friends in yeah. so long, when I saw a couple of them recently, sobrang clingy ko sa kanila. Yeah, so... And I was like, halika dito! I yeah, want to just be around you. Just make the most of the moment. And making the most of the moment is being aware of it. Yeah. Alam mo yung sobrang present mo sa moment and you're able to really just take in all those vibes. Mm -hmm. Sarap eh. Mm -hmm. Set up and then finally you're more aware. You know, I'm gonna take a couple more extra selfies and photos with these people simply because it's so good to see them again. Yeah. I mean, if that will not last, I promise you. <laughs> Just like everything else, that high and those vibes will fade away eventually. Like, I don't wanna see you anymore. It's such yeah. hassle your effort. But for now, because we're all on a high, just seeing different people just going to work, and most sometimes, you know, you dread going to work. Yeah. Make the most out of it. And with that, we have come to the end of our podcast. And again, we want to say thank you to Woolworths for sponsoring our podcast. Woolworths is Australia's number one supermarket brand and it's now available in the Philippines at Shopwise. You can also shop for Woolworths products using the GoCart app available both in iOS and Google Play. And through the website shopwise.gocart.ph and they will deliver straight to your doorstep. And do check out their items because packaging looks lovely. There is an emphasis on giving you a healthier lifestyle through the products that they serve. And that's just a good thing overall. I think packaging is also a simple pleasure in itself. Yeah, I think so too. It's nice looking at good packaging. 
And of course, before we end the episode, we want to ask you guys, what are your simple pleasures? Put that in the comment section so that we can see and read about your experiences and what makes you happy. And on that note, we have come to the end of our episode. I think this is one of the first few episodes of Behind Relationship Goals for this year. Really? One of the. Thank you so much. This is Behind Relationship Goals. I am Fofo. And I'm Bones. Bye. Bye.